Have you ever dreamt of starting your own business but felt held back by your low income? If so, you're not alone. But take heart, because we're about to show you that it's not only possible but it's also doable with a method called cash stuffing. This video is your step-by-step -step guide to taking control of your finances and turning your entrepreneurial dreams into reality. We'll take you through the process of creating a budget that fits your current financial situation. We'll introduce you to the cash stuffing method, a simple yet effective way of managing your money by dividing it into categories. We'll help you identify areas where you can cut back and save more effectively. We'll also guide you on how to plan your business, seek additional funding, and start small to minimize risk. So, are you ready to take the leap? Stay tuned to learn how you can turn your dream into reality, even with a low income. First things first, you need to have a clear picture of your financial situation. Now, how do you achieve that? By building a budget that reflects your current income and expenses. Just like an architect wouldn't start building without a blueprint, you shouldn't embark on your business journey without a solid financial plan. Start by identifying your income sources. This could be your salary, freelance gigs, or any other reliable income streams. Next, jot down your expenses. These could be rent, groceries, transportation, utilities, anything that you spend money on regularly. Subtract your total expenses from your total income and voila you have your potential savings. But here's the tricky part. You need to scrutinize your expenses and identify the areas where you can cut back. Do you really need that daily latte? Could you use public transportation instead of driving? Remember, every penny saved is a penny earned. With a clear budget you now have a foundation to build your business upon. Now, let's introduce our main tool, the cash stuffing method. This method is a tactile and visual way to manage your finances. It's pretty straightforward. You start by dividing your cash into different envelopes. Each envelope represents a specific category of your spending or saving. For example, you might have envelopes for groceries, utilities, entertainment, and of course, your future business venture. Every time you get paid, you distribute your cash among these envelopes according to your budget. When you need to make a purchase or pay a bill, you take the money from the respective envelope. If an envelope is empty, no more spending in that category until you refill it on the next payday. The beauty of this method is it provides a tangible way to see where your money is going and how much you have left. It also helps you resist the temptation to overspend. The cash stuffing method is a tangible way to control your spending and increase your savings. With your finances in order, it's time to start saving for your business. You've got your budget in place and have adopted the cash stuffing method. Now it's time to put that system to work for your business dream. One of those envelopes you've been stuffing with cash should be labeled business savings. This is where you'll be putting aside money specifically for launching your enterprise. Now you might be thinking, but I don't have any extra cash to put into this envelope. That's where the power of cash stuffing comes in. By managing your money wisely and controlling your spending in other areas, you'll find that you do indeed have some extra cash to dedicate to your business. Take a good look at your other envelopes. Are there any areas where you can cut back? Maybe you can cook meals at home instead of eating out or perhaps you can cancel that gym membership you never use and exercise at home instead. There are always ways to reduce expenses and increase your savings. Now when it comes to adding to your business savings, consistency is key. Whether it's $20 a week or $200, make it a habit to add to this envelope regularly. And remember even small amounts add up over time. But don't stop there. Look for ways to increase your income as well. Maybe you can pick up a part-time job, sell items you no longer need, or start a small side hustle. The more you can add to your business savings, the quicker you'll be able to launch your venture. And here's a pro tip. If you find that you have a surplus in your other envelopes at the end of the month, don't just spend it. Consider adding it to your business savings. This is a great way to accelerate your savings and get your business off the ground sooner. Remember, every penny saved brings you one step closer to launching your business. By allocating an envelope for business savings, reducing expenses, and finding ways to increase your income, you'll be well on your way to becoming an entrepreneur. While you're saving, it's the perfect time to start planning your business. This stage is crucial, and it's all about researching and planning. Start by understanding the market you're entering. Look at the competition. What are they doing right? What can you do better? This will help you identify your unique selling proposition, the thing that sets you apart from the rest. Next, pinpoint your target audience. Who are they? What are their needs, preferences, and pain points? 
The more you know about them, the better you can tailor your product or service to suit their needs. Finally, create a business plan. This is your roadmap, outlining your business goals, strategies, and financial projections. It's a crucial tool not just for keeping you on track, but also for attracting potential investors or lenders down the line. A well-researched and detailed business plan can be your roadmap to success. Starting a business with low income might seem daunting but it's entirely possible with careful planning and disciplined saving. We've explored the concept of cash stuffing, a method that can help you manage your finances and build a budget that fits your current financial situation. We've learned how to identify income, expenses, and potential savings areas to manage money efficiently. We also emphasize the importance of saving for your business. Allocating one of the envelopes for your business savings and consistently adding to it can make a significant difference. And while you're saving, you should also start planning your business, researching the market, identifying your target audience, and creating a robust business plan. Now it's your turn to start planning your business. Remember where there's a will, there's a way. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more financial tips and tricks. Together, we can make your business dreams come true.